1080p 23 inch monitors made by Acer that I run my setup of 5760 by 1080p on. Um, right now I have the Tomb Raider wallpaper which I love. It's a great game. You should check it out if you haven't. Another gaming must is the chair. Uh, I got it for about $60 at Staples and uh, uh, it, I've had it over a year and it still feels as good as uh, when I first sat in it. I don't really know much of the uh, uh, anything about it. I can't quite remember, but it's really comfy. Uh, I'll try to look for um, the product on staples.com and I'll link it in the description below. I'm still new to the Turtle Beach product, but the headphones have performed great. I have the X12 and I like them so much that I bought an extra pair for my backup computer. My mouse and keyboard are both from Razer, a brand I personally trust and will probably use as long as they keep making their product. This is the Death Adder. It fits my hand perfectly and I've had it for over a year now and it's maintained top shape. I don't think I will choose a different mouse for as long as I live. This uh, mouse pad, very interesting. It uh, cost $20. I chose the medium size because I didn't think it was going to be too big, but it came to be about 14 by 12 inches, so uh, a lot of room to play around with. Back to the keyboard. Um, it's not a mechanical, but it has worked surprisingly well. All, everything tip-top, doesn't smudge, doesn't have anything wrong with it, and I've had it for over a year, so very good product for $60. So this case is truly amazing for the price. I got it for $120 with a $20 rebate. Um, I started with a smaller mid-sized case, a Blackhawk, and it just, the heat was too much for the two GTX 770s. So I got this, it has two 200 millimeter fans running in exhaust, and it pulls air from the H100i. So it's kind of a push-pull, but there's a little little gap between them um, has a fan controller built in which is awesome I usually have all my fans running at max anyways has a 140 millimeter in the front has a 120 in the back exhaust and then it has a 200 millimeter fan blowing air right on the graphics cards and then a two 120 millimeter fans pushing air um, onto the hard drives and SSDs so it has a very sleek look. I don't have a DVD drive, but that's where it'd go. So it's very nice. It has a nice little magnetic thing. All right, so let's get to what you guys uh, probably wanted to see the most besides the three monitors. This is my this is my baby. Um, sorry, I was just cleaning. Um, we have a H100i water cooling a 4770K um, at about 4.0 4 gigahertz, I believe. A um, little overclock. Have a two um, eight times two G-Skill Aries, low profile, so to make sure the uh, H100i would fit. I have two SP120s, quiet editions, with um, with another one, but the difference is these ones can be controlled through the Corsair Link software, and this one cannot. 
because this one is just hooked up to the motherboard, which is a G87, or sorry, Z87 um, GD65 Gaming Edition. Uh, performed, has performed well, you know, best I could ask for, for the price. We got two GTX 770s, um, four gigabyte editions to help uh, for the three monitors because v video RAM or VRAM uh, is so important when it comes to that. So then I have a 1000 watt Kingwin power supply. I started with an 850, but I decided because the case has a fan controller to go up because I was probably already pushing how much I could use. So as it's kind of an off brand, um, it's not one you hear about a lot, but the reviews were pretty good. So I decided to go for it and I've been using it for about three months and it's performing well. Um, I have a 250 gigabyte Samsung Evo 840 um, for the operating system. That's all I put on there. I have a 120 gigabyte SSD Kingston for faster games like Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3, games I want to load very quickly so I can be the first on the field. And then a two terabyte uh, Seagate that for just mass storage games, editing softwares, anything I could poss possibly need. Another product I don't have yet too much experience with, but the Logitech C920 webcam has performed great so far. I've only had it for a couple weeks, but it has great reviews and I, I add another great review to it. So this is my editing laptop. It's a HP Pavilion. Um, this, com this computer has been a surprise to me because I got it for $500 as just kind of a laptop around the house. I didn't really need a gaming laptop, but this, this laptop will play Metro 2033 at good frame rates um, on high settings. So it's been really great. Played through the entire game on that. Have my favorite picture of Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite. Um, but yeah, it's, it works great. Edits like a charm. And then I have my 500 gigabyte external hard drive that I use to switch between computers, between my editing, my main computer, and my backup computer. Um, but it works great. Only like $50. Kind of ask for more. I'm not going to go into too much detail about my backup computer, but this Alienware X51 was actually my first computer before I had the confidence to build my own. Uh, have had no issues with it. I've had it over a year now. Has a GTX 660, a one terabyte hard drive, and eight gig gigabytes of RAM. Uh, have the same Acer monitor as my my main computer. Uh, what a different route with the uh, keyboard and mouse for the uh, just the performance to price ratio. It's a CM Storm Devastator pack, and it's a mouse and keyboard for thirty dollars. And so far, it's run great. I, I have not seen. A better, a better price per two performance out there. So definitely recommended. Um, I don't use this computer too much anymore unless I'm playing Dark Souls because I prefer to play it on this one. But my wife does a lot of makeup tutorials on here and she plays The Sims on here. So it's definitely good. It's a great computer. Uh, highly recommended. Uh, I, I guess I would say I recommend more building your own computer um, if you have the experience and knowledge. But I do not regret getting it and have the same headphones as my main. Works great. I love them.